A short note on dogs, the dogs. What do you know about dogs? Hello beautiful people, welcome to Rag Sedis blog. Your home of quality spicy videos. This video is a summary of my blog post with title the dog. Visit my site for more information on this topic. Giveaway time. This free ebook is for all dog lovers and anyone with the intention of getting the pet. The link to the book is the second link in description below. A tamed ancestor of the wolf is the domestic dog, scientifically known as Canis familiaris or Canis lupus familiaris. The closest surviving relative of the dog is the current wolf, which is descended from an ancient, extinct wolf. About 15,000 years ago, before agriculture was developed, hunter-gatherers tamed the dog as the first species. Dogs have become numerous domestic animals as a result of their long contact with humans, and they have developed the ability to thrive on a starch-rich diet that would be insufficient for other canids. Dog breeds differ greatly in terms of appearance, size, and color. For humans, they perform a wide range of tasks, such as providing therapy, companionship, protection, hauling heavy objects, hunting, herding, assisting the military and law enforcement, and aiding the injured. They have earned the nickname man's best friend due to their influence on human culture. The domestic dog may have descended from the gray wolf, according to a 1999 study of mitochondrial DNA, NTA, with the development of the dingo and New Guinea singing dog varieties occurring when human populations were less interconnected. The dog's skeleton is well suited for sprinting, the long ribs provide lots of room for the heart and lungs, the shoulders are detached from the bones allowing for excellent flexibility, and the vertebrae on the neck and back have extensions for strong back muscles to attach to. Vision, hearing, smell, taste, touch, and magnetic field sensitivity are among a dog's senses. Like many canids, a dog's tail serves as a key means of expression for their emotions, which is important for interacting with other people. Cleft palates, trick knees, blindness, deafness, Pulmonic stenosis, and elbow and hip dysplasia are just a few of the genetic disorders that some dog breeds are more prone to developing. Fleas, dicks, mites, hookworms, tapeworms, roundworms, and heartworms, a particular type of roundworm that lives in dogs' hearts, are among the parasites that can infect dogs. Dogs can suffer from the same illnesses as people, including diabetes, heart disease, epilepsy, cancer, hypothyroidism, and arthritis. The average lifespan of dogs varies significantly between breeds, although for the majority, it falls between 10 and 13 years. Dogs' thoughts have unavoidably been changed by thousands of years of contact with people because they are the first domesticated species. Dogs have developed a greater capacity for understanding and communication with people than any other animal as a result of their physical and social evolution, and they are particularly tuned into human activities. These talents are similar to those of young children rather than the closest canine relatives of the dog or other highly intelligent mammals, such as big apes. Eye gazing, facial expression, vocalization, body posture, including limb movements, and gustatory communication are all examples of canine communication behaviors, scents, pheromones, and taste. Dogs can understand what humans are saying through our vocalizations, hand signals, and body language. According to one study, the majority of these canines live as scavengers and have never been owned by anyone. It has been said that dogs are omnivores. Some dog breeds are considered to have a high starch diet and, like humans, produce amylase in their saliva. Dogs' dietary needs fall in between those of omnivores and carnivores. Their trainability, playfulness, and capacity to blend in with human households and social circumstances may all be attributed to these complex kinds of social cognition and communication. Dogs have been bred for a variety of uses, including herding livestock, hunting, and rodent control, in addition to their position as companion animals. Search and rescue dogs, detection dogs trained to spot illegal narcotics or chemical weapons, guard dogs, dogs who help fishermen utilize nets, and dogs that pull loads are some more kind of working dogs. Individuals with disabilities can receive aid from a variety of service dogs and assistance dogs, such as guide dogs, hearing dogs, mobility assistance dogs, and psychiatric therapy dogs. People frequently enter their dogs in sporting events like agility, sledding, and racing competitions. Since ancient times, people have eaten dog meat in certain East Asian nations, including Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. 
According to scant information, 13 to 16 million dogs are reportedly butchered and eaten annually throughout Asia. The WHO estimated that 59,000 individuals died from rabies in 2018, with 59.6% of those deaths occurring in Asia and 36.4% in Africa. Dogs serve as the primary vector for the disease rabies. Each year, tens of millions of people throughout the world are impacted by serious dog bites. The majority of dog bite victims are children in their middle to late childhood, and head and neck injuries are more likely. They have the highest fatality rate and are more likely to require medical attention. The same common illnesses that affect humans, including as cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and neurological diseases, can affect dogs. Their pathophysiology, treatment response, and results are all comparable to those of humans. Previous research has demonstrated that persons who own dogs or cats have better mental and physical health than those who do not, seeing the doctor less frequently and being less likely to be taking medication. One study found that the first month after adopting a pet had a highly significant decline in minor health issues. Compared to people with cats and people without pets, people with pet dogs engaged in significantly more physical activity. The findings show that owning pets may have favorable benefits on human behavior and health, and that these effects are particularly long-lasting for dog guardians. Social support is another advantage of interacting with a dog because canines not only offer human companionship and social support, but also facilitate social connections amongst people. According to one study, wheelchair users who are accompanied by a dog have more pleasant contacts with strangers than those who are not. Dogs and other animals have been used in therapy since the late 18th century, when they were first brought into mental institutions to help patients with mental illnesses socialize. The use of a dog in animal-assisted therapy has been proven to promote social behaviors in patients with Alzheimer's disease, such as smiling and laughing. This brings the video to an end. Follow me on this channel for more relevant topics on animals. Thanks for your time.